Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today I'm going to be taking a quick look at the AMD 290X reference card. Yes, we finally got one. Now as it is a reference card, there is no box for us to unbox, so we can just look at the card itself. Now this is the reference cooler. AMD uh, have uh, locked this down so there's only going to be reference samples available at launch. Uh, and by reference samples, I mean that all of the vendors are just going to get their own kind of like, you know, they might put a sticker on it or something, but there's not going to be any third party coolers. Um, I've not, I'm hearing that we could be waiting until December or next year, and it's very much like when the Titan first came out, uh, and that, you know, you're only going to be able to get the reference cards at first. Uh, originally, I did hear that it was going to be just reference cards, but I'm actually quite happy that it's not. Because to be fair, look at it. It's really not, you know, that, you know, great a thing, is it? It's it's very much like the 270X. And although for a £150 card, that does look quite the part. I'd be quite happy paying 150 quid for that and having that in my rig. It does look all right. But when you start talking about what we're expecting to be £525, They've just made it a bit bigger. Uh, there's no kind of event when it comes to getting this card out of the box. There's no kind of drama. There's no kind of, you know, wow or pizzazz. Now you may be thinking, for a reference cooler, what do we want? But we can give you a what do we want. And that's that. The competition, it's the thing that everyone has been saying it's going to be. And that's the Titan. So we've got the Titan. Now you may be thinking, Tom, Tom, for God's sake. That's an £850 card. Well, there's a £500 version of it, and there's a £350 version of it. So we've got the 770 there, which I will now remove. We've got the 780 there, which I'll now remove. And they all have that sense of drama. They've all got the, the, the nice design. It's all aluminium, uh, all aluminium. Most of it's metal. We've obviously got a plastic window. Still got the vapour chamber. They light up. And to be fair, they're really quiet as well. They they perform really well. You can actually set the uh, set them up to uh, vary the temperatures, so you can t you can tell the card how hot you want it to get, and it will perform up to that temperature. Now with the AMD, like I said, it's the, the, it's just not got that sense of occasion when you get it out. It's very very boring. If you compare this to the seven nine seventy, I actually like the look of the seven nine seventy cooler. Um, it, it, it wasn't um, it was just nice and shiny it was clean you know nice corners on it. it it actually looked like a nice card i personally ran one uh just with the fan speed dialed right back for a long long time and this it just it doesn't look that great but you know we'll we'll skip past the aesthetics which is really all this review is about, or box opening is about we'll have a look at some of the other bits so it's the same length as the titan uh, it will fit on your ATX motherboard. You'll run into problems if you're looking to fit it in a, a MITX rig or something like that. But oh crikey, I'm knocking stuff all over the place. You're looking at 270. No, hang on, yeah, 270 millimeters. The graphics card is. Power is an eight pin and a six pin. Up here we do have a BIOS switch. Now the BIOS switch, if you have it furthest that end, that's quiet fan mode. If you have it this end, they call that uber fan mode. Uh, to be fair, I've not noticed all that much difference. Uh, go and watch the main review if you want to um, get my thoughts on the actual performance of the card and everything. And obviously we do have a link, hang on, let me get my finger in the right place. We do have a link up here so that you can go and click the main review and that'll be where you can see all of the uh, comparisons and everything in the graphs. And to be fair, everyone is expecting this thing to blow the Titan out of the water, you need to go and look at those graphs. Because one thing I will say is there is no blowing out of the water by any stretch of the imagination in, you know, in any stretch of, yeah, of the imagination. Why did I say that twice? Anyway, so you'll also notice up here, no, no crossfire bridges. Now that's not because you can't crossfire it, that's because the crossfire is now done through the PCI Express bus because we're miles away from saturating the PCI Express 3. So they now do it all through the PCI Express slots. So we've not got to have any physical bridges or anything. Now, some of you will love that. Some of you will hate that. Uh, but let's face it, it's really just going to come down to personal preference. I actually uh, would prefer not to have 
the bridges in my rig and it will stop all the problems of people having to buy the floppy ones and then them not working or trying to find fixed bridges that works. I think this is a, a good step in the right direction. Other than that, there's no memory or anything on the back. It's just a plain PCB uh, with the third party ones, you know, as and, when, as and when we get them. There's not really anything for them to call at the back for a back plate, but it will make things tidier, or it would make things a little bit tidier. We go around the back, two DVIs, HDMI, full-size display port, and then that's really it. You know, those red, I, I'm not sure what they could have done with this reference cooler to make it a bit better because to be fair the nvidia cooler is just it's i would say it's one of the best coolers that's ever been designed on a reference graphics card but not only does it look the dog's danglies it actually does work really well as well this one um you really do need to go and watch the main review to talk about you know like fan performance and temps and stuff but just to kind of chuck something out there for you 95 degrees is normal with this card and I do mean normal. Now it's, it's a lot quieter than it has been, uh, or a lot quieter than the AMD cards of old, but essentially all they've really done is it's, it's just the normal vapor chamber that we're used to, the same vape, uh, fan, you know, blow fan that we've been used to. They've really just turned it down. That's the best way I can explain it. So not only do the temperatures go up really high and they've had to design the card to run at 95 degrees so that they can get that much performance out of it, but the temperatures stay up for a month for Sundays as well. And we actually got a stopwatch in the main review so that you can uh, see how long it takes to go from an active performance state and then drop back. Even when you sat on the desktop, it takes ages. Uh, so there's plenty of you to go and see in the other reviews, but if you were just here for a quick look, I had best shut my mouth and stop wasting your time. But for your first look at the long awaited AMD 290X, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another Rush Kit video for you, out.